Wake up, Waylon, wake up. Come on, you great drunken oaf. This isn't funny. No, everything is not okay. I can't wake any of these men up. They keep muttering things. Strangely similar things, as though they're all sharing the same dream. Makes no sense. I've heard rumors of men affected like this. Lulled into sleep by a strange force, never to awaken again. They just lie there, empty, as though their soul just upped and left somewhere. I don't want to do that. That's my husband there. My Waylon. I don't know what I'd do without him. Well, I ain't going to turn you down. Anything to get my Waylon back. I should warn you, though, a warrior named the Raptor came here before you and offered to help. He terrified me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I gave him a restless sleep potion, an old recipe I learned from a witch some time ago. She said it would let me visit the world of dreams, whatever that means. He drank it and then seemed to fade away to somewhere else. You'll need to drink it as well if you want to catch up with him. I'm not afraid to say that I fear the raptor. I hear stories about him. His solution for a problem is to destroy everything linked to it. That's not who I want saving my husband. Protect my Waylon, would you? I know he's a drunkard, but he's my drunkard. You'll need this if you want to follow the raptor and Waylon. If it has the effect I think it will, you'll enter some kind of dream world. Then make sure you get to Waylon before the raptor does. This story starts under the sea, in the home of my sisters. In that home, I found moments to sing. But I knew, if my sisters heard me, they would roll up some kelp and force it into my mouth. So I learned to sing quietly. One night, my sisters were out hunting. I swam from my home and came upon a village on the edge of the sea. There were so many people in the docks, working and talking, but they could not see me in the dark water. So I sang to them. Keep talking, witch. Makes it easier to find you. <sighs> if you're here to stop me, then you have a problem. And that problem is standing in front of you. Ha! It's too late to save Waylon. Come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. Only thing left to do is kill her. Keep your distance. Don't try to stop me. So I sang an old mermaid song, and the men on the docks listened.
on the dock heard my song, and I could see the adoration on their faces. I drank it. should mourn those men, but I could only think of their adoring looks and the effect they had on me. So I swam for the town again. This time I climbed onto the land and sang for the men of the fields. There was no water to drown in, and they looked at me with such love. one another. They became jealous. to attract the souls of dreaming men. They would love me, even as they slept. Night or day, I was surrounded by those who loved me, and I loved them. to soothe it with song, but still it seethed. So I cried a tear, and the water extinguished the fire. It didn't rain. 
page anymore. The soul had burned down, as if only a spark. I gave it the breath of life, keeping its heart pumping and alive. some of the energy I had gathered. I allowed it to regrow. And then there was darkness. My story ended, and another began. But that story is for another time. All that is left is to repeat the story again. Come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. This tale starts under the sea, in the home of my sister. I guess this is the end of the line. No one could make that jump and survive. It would be foolish to even try. <laughs> This is our island. You need to get back on your ship. 
She doesn't like trespass. He'll make her angry. What are you talking about? Look around you. The waves lapping at the shore. The soft, soft sand. How can I believe you trespass her? Still, I will hear you. I will sing the waking song. Then we'll see who is dreaming. Drop green ballast and rise to air. Shed its darkness for morning glare. Let the sun... Gods! No! No, this can't be! What infernal place is this? What has been done to me? Who is responsible for this horror? Wait. I remember. I was swimming in some cave. I found a soul that was so alone. Then... It... ate me. Gods! I wake from a dream to return to a nightmare. No. It's better to see the world as it really is, even if I am trapped in this thing. No, I... Oh no. My song. I, I thought I was just on my island, I had no idea. The old lady. The dragon. She must have been using me to lure them here. That's why she kept making me sing. I know it's only a small means of reparation, but my waking song has sent the other souls back to their bodies. If you can let me out, I might be able to repay the favor and help you escape. I know an introduction won't help you, but my name is Remora. When I was eaten by the dragon, I wore a necklace of some power. It should be able to help us get out of this nightmare. Find you. I'm going to put an end to your witchcraft. Time to die. No. Please. It's not my fault. Killing you is the only way to stop this happening again. That's right. If we can find my necklace, then I can teleport us out. All you have to do is get me out of here, and it's yours. <sighs> Fine. You get us out, and I let you live a bit longer. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. I understand. Grab my crossbow from the floor. It should first assist and release me. Be ready. I imagine that bursting it will not make the dragon happy. Take great strength to break the dragon's neck. But I will do it. Not me. You should go. I don't know what happened. Here, take this. It was the sirens. She was very useful.
I cannot thank you enough. Wayland's a little groggy, but that's no different after a normal night's drinking. Thank you. Quiet, Wayland. The adventure doesn't need to hear your drunken ramblings. We're in your debt, and you can be sure that I won't let him drink ever again. Thank you. 